What's going on everybody? Glad to see you guys back here once again. Now something interesting is happening in the tech world and this is actually something that may have a huge impact on the industry at large as time passes. Now everyone knows about Amazon. I mean worldwide Amazon has become a household name. They're just a huge company. They've got their hands in music. They've got their hands in printing. I mean Amazon honestly in some ways I'm wondering if Jeff's actually grown too big for his britches because they're just going everywhere and now something's happening which will really probably shake up the industry um, big time especially for AMD and Intel because right now Amazon is creating their own brand of CPUs. That's right, Amazon CPUs, created in conjunction with ARM. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute. But pretty much these guys are coming out and they're gonna be competing with Intel's Xeon and AMD's Epic CPUs. Starting out on the, you know, in the market, that's going to be for supercomputers, for servers, all that type of stuff. Now, currently, both AMD and Intel are selling their CPUs to Amazon, right? So they're getting Amazon business, but this change could make a big difference. Let's talk a little bit about this. The announcement of Amazon's Graviton 2 may well have made both AMD and Intel really nervous. I mean, like I said before, Amazon is a customer of both of these companies. Now the companies have even greater reason to be worried about their business. Anantec, They've reported that the Parisian company Cyperl has announced it had signed a major agreement with semiconductor giant ARM. The French firm will use ARM IP, which is Zeus Neoverse CPU technology, to develop a new set of CPUs, the Rhea, the Kronos, and another unnamed model. Now, the big news is, however, is this company is backed by the European Commission as part of the European Processor Initiative. This is the EPI project, and this project aims to design a high-performance, low-power microprocessor for Europe's first exascale supercomputer. So currently, right now, the threat only seems like it's going to be aimed at, you know, pretty much the server market. That's where things are going. But just imagine how crazy things would get if they enter the fray of the consumer market. I mean, Amazon is huge. They have a lot of money to back them up and they're planning on releasing three different type of versions of CPUs over the next four years. Now, currently, like I said, the chips really aren't going to be in, like I said, the desktop market. Actually, the first CPUs are going to be geared towards automobile technology, and it's all going to be done over in Europe. So even right now, all this stuff that's coming out isn't actually happening, you know, probably until the future. But this could really be a big change in the industry all the way around. I mean, let's just face it. Over the years, Intel has had a few competitors come up. There have been Cirex. There have been like a, a bunch of different CPU companies over the years that have tried to compete with Intel. And now we've seen AMD really starting to take over in the server industry as well. So Intel at one point dominated the server industry. I mean, nobody could touch Intel at all. I'm serious. Like nobody at all. That, that market was pretty much lock, stock, and barrel, two smoking guns, whatever you want to call it. Intel had it all. And then AMD started being competitive with Intel, releasing their Epic line and all their server stuff, which has done really well on the market. AMD has really come a long way in a short period of time. But now a company like Amazon getting involved in this could really change the entire game front because now not only will Intel have a competitor, Intel's latest competitor, AMD, will have somebody competing against them as well. And with all of this money and with ARM technology being, you know, really the forefront and the push of this, I think we're going to see some major changes in the market. I just, I really do because... Why will Amazon stop at one point? If Amazon sees that their you know, processors can be very competitive on the market, they're going to keep going. Now, the Graviton 2 processor, I'll have more information for you guys in another video, but basically this processor shows great promise. It's not requiring a lot of power. It's showing up to 50% almost increase in performance across the board in different areas. 
So obviously, you know, right off the ground rolling off, we're going to see some CPUs that are very, very well made. Now, the fact that right now they're only really geared towards an automotive section of the industry, I mean, I don't really think that particular industry whatsoever is something for Intel and AMD to fear because I don't really, you know, think they're like really in that market. You know, um, I know there's been a few Tesla cars that have been like, you know, automated. A couple of guys have crashed, falling asleep and died. A whole different story there as well. But I mean, maybe these processes will actually get into a car and the car will actually be able to drive safely because right now there's no way to detect tractors or anything other than just what the road has so like you know um let's just say somebody goes out in europe and they map the road so you know the road everywhere it's going you know where your car is going but let's just say a farmer he goes out in the road and he breaks down and his vehicle's there and you're traveling your car you know going 120 miles an hour you know in autopilot and you don't see this guess what? You're dead. You know what I mean? So hopefully there'll be, you know, the technology will be where like, you know, you're driving and it detects something, you know, and says, hey, okay, let's avoid this. Otherwise, I really don't even know, you know, how much further this automated car thing will even go. I mean, the the thought of having an automated car and being able to go out and drive, I mean, I think that's a totally great idea. It's cool. You know what I mean? You can get drunk, hop in your car and say, hey, car, you Take me home because I can't drive because I'm just so messed up. You know what I mean? It's a cool idea. But you don't want to hop inside your car drunk and then end up dead, right? <laughs> so it's going to be kind of interesting. But for now, that is it. Amazon has released the information that the Graviton 2 CPUs will be hitting the market. Like I said, currently they have three models that they're rolling out. Two of them have names. One of them doesn't have a name whatsoever. Um, I will make sure that I have some links down below with some other articles for you guys to check out. But uh, this really could be one of the most shakeup things that the industry's ever seen. Right now, yeah, probably not too much of a worry, you know, to the big guys. But let's just say six months rolls down the line and then all of a sudden they say, you know what, we've decided to make a new mobile CPU or we've decided to make a new CPU for laptops that runs really super quiet, runs super low power, runs really cool. That could be a big threat to both Intel and AMD. I mean, personally, I think that ARM technology is the future, just the way I brought a video to you guys before about this type of stuff, just the way the architecture is made and everything is actually opening doors for new stuff into the to the future. I mean, we all know that right now, Intel's really stagnated out with their stuff, you know. They're not out of the game yet, though. So anybody out there who really thinks that Intel's completely out of the game, I just gotta tell you, they're not. These guys have billions of dollars in the bank. They might hurt, they might fall to one knee, but they've got enough, you know, people in support to pick them back up, fix that, you know, <laughs> fix that knee, and keep on going. So, what well, I mean, for, you know, for shites and giggles, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Amazon can come in even though they really haven't been in the CPU market whatsoever? Do you think that Amazon can just jump right into the fray and become the biggest competition that these companies have ever seen? I really think they can. I mean, if you pay attention, Amazon just keeps taking up more market, more market. Like people don't even realize this. They own a lot of stuff that has to do with music publication. They own a lot of stuff that has to do with publication of books and stuff like this. They are pretty much cornering the market, kind of like a movie. You know, the giant corporation comes, they buy everything, take everything up. Well, that company, better or worse, is Amazon. So I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. We will have a link down below for more articles about this stuff. But right now, Amazon's Graviton 2 looks like it's going to be a game changer. How much of a game changer? I guess that's yet to be seen. But the future is rolling, and you'll see it here on Tech of Tomorrow.